in Mumbai, uh, before, uh, when, when they were new in, in India, they would come a lot to the uh, synagogues. Uh, the rabbi uh, uh, of the Chabad Duchik, he would come to the synagogue, read the whole Puri, uh, Megillah, yeah. in like half an hour, real fast, and, uh, and then you would drink a little bit and then go, go back to the Chabad. But nowadays, they are normally there only for like Jewish travelers, Israelis, uh, expats. They rarely go to synagogues, like the Indian, Indian synagogues. Uh, but they are. I should mention what you told me the other day about uh, the amount of Israelis in, in India. Yeah. So uh, the number I mentioned, five thousand. It's only Baghdadi and Bene Israeli Jews. Um, uh, it's a a lot of Israelis after the army they go to India. Uh, I read a number of about sixty thousand Israelis that go to India annually for at least you know between six months to a year. Some of them more, some of them less. Um, and they go to the north of India, they go there because number one, it's cheap, number two, it's peaceful, it's really a beautiful area up there in the north, it's very green, peaceful, uh, it's clean, um, air is really nice over there. Uh, uh, many of them go to Goa, a lot of there's a Chabad in Goa, a lot of signs in Hebrew in Goa, in, in Himachal Pradesh and other places in the north. A lot of the people, uh, non Jews, that work in those cafes know Hebrew, have Hebrew on the keyboard. Um, uh, in the menus. In the menus as well, yeah. In the restaurants. Yes. Um, so we have Chabad. There's only one Chabad in the south. So the south India make up four states. There's only one uh, in the south in Bangalore. Um, he's a nice chap. I was living in Bangalore, so I used to visit the Chabad a lot. Um, so we have one JCC all over the country. It's in Mumbai. Um, they have a lot of stuff for the youth, for, for kids, uh, for the older population. They have JSC volunteers that come from the United States uh, every year um, for a whole year, and then the next year uh, a new group of, uh, a new pair comes. And what they do is they help with the day camps, the youth camps, uh, with the old age home, and they're just there like a resource for the younger Jews community in India. Um, so these are the, the, one of some of the famous Jews, uh, David Sassoon, as I mentioned before. They, they, they should call him the Rothschilds of the East. Uh, Ellison and Ethan Lewis were also Baghdadi Jews. They had built synagogues, um, other big uh, monuments in India, in Hong Kong. Um, and I think they are currently in Hong Kong or London, something like that, I don't know. Uh, Nadirol was one of the first um, actresses in Bollywood uh, in the 50s and 60s, and she had, happened to be Jewish. Um, what I read somewhere was uh, back then when Bollywood was just being created, it was just you know, establishing itself, um, they wanted uh, women who were a little fair skinned. And the, uh, the local community were, weren't as fair. And uh, Parsi, the Parsi community were also fair skinned, just like uh, the Venezuelan and Bulgarian communities, but they were also very traditional. So I think only uh, um, the, I think, I, I don't know whether she's Bulgarian or Venezuelan, but I, I guess. Her family were more um, uh, open-minded, and they could let her be out of the house for a certain number of time, and she ended up being an actress. <laughs> um, Pramila is the first uh, Miss India in 1947. Uh, J.F.R. Jacob was a uh, lieutenant colonel. Uh, he was a big guy. He passed away a few few years ago. This is music and Judah Haim. Um, I don't know much about uh, the last person, Judah Haim. Um, he was my great grandfather. Uh, there's a synagogue in New Delhi. There's only one synagogue in New Delhi. It's really tiny, mainly there for expats. And uh, it's named after him, the Judah Haim Synagogue. Uh, he was, he, I think he was a pretty big guy. He was a social communal worker. Um, he took a lot of interest in women's education. He was given a title, Khan Bahadur, which means like, Khan is like a last name kind of thing. It's like a big name. And Bahadur means brave uh, by the Viceroy of India then. So, um, there, there's a lot more um, names, but I only had 